Okay, so to get started on this project, the first thing you need to do is go into content examples and create and open a project. And that's going to take a little while for the shaders to compile. And then once that's open, you're going to come in here and there's one called the test room. I've already migrated over the test room. But then you'll also need to select this folder here on interactable and come up here and migrate that over too. So go migrate and then pick your project that you're going to put it into. I'm going to put it in here. You've got to choose the content folder and go select. And then it's going to say assets already exist. You want to overwrite them and say yes. So it's finding duplicates, but it's okay to overwrite them. So just overwrite them. So then when you go into the project, you should see your folders. But then what you can do is just click into the the test room level. So I just migrated over to a third person template. Once you transfer it, you'll have, you'll see this, you'll have this global folder right here. And it comes in with a bunch of stuff, but you'll just, there's one in here called interactable. There's uh, the demo room, of course, actually migrated over the test room and the template room. This is a little bit smaller. This has more stuff in it. So if I hit play, you know, you see you got all these assets in here. So this would be good if you wanted to create your own demo of something. You just get this asset and then just make it your own, you know, enter your own content. And you've got this whole display area in here. It's like your own convention center practically. Okay, so once you open that level, the test room, you'll come into this. There's this one called Interactables, and it's got this button in here. And I had to kind of explore this myself. But it's a blueprint interface set up. And so if you drag the button into the scene and you hit play, you'll see that you can already interact with it. See, and that's just a material swapping out right there. You hit escape, and then we come over here, you'll see that, well, let's look at the blueprint itself real fast. So you'll see that it's set up here for three triggered actors, and there's references to them over here, but you can't set them in here. You can only set them once you drag this into the scene. And this trigger ID is just a name input that you can transfer if you want. You don't have to have a trigger ID. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up. Is With this selected in the scene, you'll see it's looking for three. It can trigger up to three actors, and then it can also pass along a trigger ID if you want. And you don't have to put in a... A trigger ID if you don't want to. It's just data being transferred. What I'm going to do to show you how you can do this is because you want this button to trigger things and it's already rigged to go, you just come up here and let's create a new blueprint here. We'll just call it new blueprint. The thing about this is that it's going to be on the receiving side of the blueprint interface. So what we have to do is implement the interface on this blueprint. So we'll come up to class settings. And that's the main concept is that the receiving blueprint has to implement it, the interface. So what we'll do is we're going to come over here to class settings and here just implement that BPI button interface. So BPI, this one right here, implement it. It should have implemented. And then it comes in over here. And what we do is go into the event graph here. We don't really need these right now. So then what we can do is this is the call when you go toward the button. And this is when you walk away from the button, right? So what we can, and here's a trigger ID if you wanted that for something, but we don't really need to use that. And here we're just gonna print a string, right? And this can say, I have been triggered. And I can make this for a little bit longer than two seconds. Make it four seconds. And then I can just control D this and plug this one in here. Just to show you how this would work, I can just, I think I can just plug this in here and it's going to auto convert it from a name value to a string. I guess it's considered a name value. Drag this into the scene. Did I compile and save that? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then with this button selected, I can just select that new blueprint. I can search for it or just, I can literally click this and come over here and click it right there. And now if I want to put a name in here, 
I can just write in something like, you have walked away. And that's supposed to be a trigger ID, but... And then I could actually, if I had other blueprints in here, I could select them to trigger. So then all I have to do is hit play. Now if I come over here and I go to this button, see, I have been triggered. See in the upper left corner? And then if I walk away, you say you have walked away. So this is really great because you can create these interactable buttons everywhere for whatever your game or project is. And that's how you get the interface working. So anyway, I hope you found this of some help. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.